guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Betty. And I'm Tyler. All right, so today we are gonna be cooking doro wet. Yeah. <laughs> so mostly Tyler's gonna be doing the work. I'm gonna try to teach him, but same time I'm gonna be doing it with him because I'll confess, doro wet is not my specialty. It's not a food that you make on a regular basis. So doro wet takes hours to make. It is a labor of love. And I will confess, I've been spoiled with my mom, and she makes good dodo wet, and you've tried it. Yes, her mom makes excellent dodo wet. Well, we're just gonna have fun. Yeah, yeah. Not complicated. So, so enjoy! Let's get started. First step is to chop up onions. Starting to cry? I'm starting to cry. Alright. That should be so, good. That's the last onion? Yeah. Um, so we use a little bit less than three pounds. Um, we use five onions. They were a mix of large and medium. What is five? Uh, it's not sabat. It's about seven. Uh, five. I, Hamas? 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 Hamas Chancourt? <laughs> you created, you just said. Uh, Hamas? You, you're close, yes. I missed. I missed. Yeah. Look, look at all that shin court. So much shin court. Clovis. Thank you. Remember how to say chicken? Chicken? Oh, yeah. oh it's Duh. doro. Yeah. For those fringe out there, so doro what literally means chicken sauce. Because doro is chicken and what is sauce. All right. We got our chicken, our doro. This is hard part. Got to take apart the chicken? Yeah. Two drumsticks, two wings, two thighs, and two breasts, and a leftover carcass. Bam. All right, let's turn on medium heat. Shin cord is starting to cook. All right, so this part is important. I've seen my mom do it this way. <laughs> I think I've done it before. So you just wanna get in there and then just kinda like do this, get it? And then you want to pour, pour it out. And, but you don't want to lose any chicken. That make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, now it's your turn to do it. Just gotta squeeze some lemon onto that. So what's lemon and lime in Mahark? Uh, I don't know if there's any difference, but it's lomi. It's lomi? Lomi. Lomi? Lomi. Lomi? Yes. You get lucky with the big hands. Tyler's doing the cooking, but it is a little bit of teamwork. I wanna make sure we get it right. All right, so when you're cooking doro wet, I typically get really hungry. And we were at the store and we saw that they had some fresh ambasha. I don't know how to make this. Maybe that'll be our next challenge. Oh gosh, I don't know about that. Let's try this. Gersha? Uh-oh, I'm slapping off. Let me go over that. Not as easy as you expected, huh? No. It is not. It's already been like 45 minutes. At least 45 minutes. Like this onion, we're waiting for it to caramelize and it's just, it's just taking its good old time. Yep. I had to bring out the stool because my back was hurting. <laughs> but like a old Ethiopian woman. It's like, my back. <laughs> <laughs> Do Ethiopian women have like a saying or anything? We'll go be in hummaming. What's that mean? <laughs> my back hurts. Just Wagabe. saying it makes my book over. <laughs> what does it say? Wagabin. 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 W
Olga Bain, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man. No, it's not. What? Sounds like you're saying something else. What am I saying? Olga Bain. Olga Bain. I'm a man. I'm a man. Yes. Olga Bain. Olga Bain. No, no, Olga Bain. Olga Bain. I'm a man. I'm a man. Olga Bain. Olga Bain. Olga Bain. Olga Bain. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm caught. Ow. Ow. Right. Yo. Keep that here. Yeah. So we started cooking and we realized we probably didn't have enough onion. So we chopped up some more onions, threw some more onions in there. We're probably close to more four pounds now, not two and a third. Four pounds, four pounds of shin cork. Next time we'll probably make it five pounds. What was four? Arat. Arat, shin cork. What's pounds? Do you have, the, how do you say that? What would you say? Uh, I don't know what pound is, but usually in Ethiopia we use kilo, so. Oh, so if it's kilo, I think it's like, so it's probably like closer to like uh, two kilo. So what's two? Fulet. 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 Kilo of shin cork. Alright, I need to, I need to feel it. Right now, it's not convincing. Agabane, Agabane. Wagabane. Wagabane. I'm a man. Yes. Uh. All right, we need the official tester. All right, I need to jump the, in the here. Tea? Oh, babe, it's sticking, so we I should know, probably I'll, just I'll, uh, I'll, put, I'll put, start putting oil. Oh, we need to put some oil on it? Oh, onto shoot, it? babe. Did you see this? Oh, it's I didn't dark. see that. Save it. Ah, you. I All right. My back was hurting. You are not stirring complete. This is a rookie mistake that he did that my mom would probably yell at me for. Save it, babe. Come on. Use your Habasha instincts. Save it. What are you doing? I'm putting... Uh, Throwing some oil into it? Yeah. I'm using olive oil. Some people may use... Uh, Save it, babe. This is the type of mistake I used to make when I was a kid and my mom would be like, give me that. It's my first Mama's time. Yeah. Forgive me. Oh no, you're ruining our pot. Oh, it's not ruining the pot. It's a good pot. It doesn't ruin like that. All right, we've gone to the next level, which is good. <laughs> it's a good sign. Yeah. You were stirring over here. It's and brown. Sweet. All right, so now we're really trying to make it caramelized. And that's another probably right. at least 15 minutes. You forgive me? I'm sorry for burning. Bottom of the pot. Bottom. No, I burned it. Look. It's not. It's not ruined the bottom pot. No, well, I'm yeah, just let saying. Yeah, let me let me get in there. All, All right, right. Now, me, now you let get me put in some here. effort. I'm trying to see. It's caramelizing at the bottom. So that I means that's what needs to happen, babe. You gotta just take a breath. Breath. Wait, Misky. My mom's gonna watch this. She's gonna be like, I can't believe you ruined this. Ow. <laughs> he what? It's okay. Take a deep breath. Betty's mom, he what? The door light's gonna be okay. You need to double check my work. Yeah, I'm not trusting him. I don't want him burning my chunk That looks good. Yeah, it's good. It's caramelizing. Man, this is some stubborn chunk What's stubborn? Oh, Derek. <laughs> yeah, Derek. Derek, chunk You have to match it and be Derek. Yeah. You have to be stubborn. Give us some Derek. Cooking Ethiopian food requires stubbornness. Yeah? Yeah. You ain't gonna lose this in part? Mm hmm No, you gotta, it just takes patience, commitment, and love for your family because if my mom didn't love us, I wouldn't have grown up eating some of this food, which takes hours to make. I'm really gra grateful and I'm really blessed. All right, we're finishing up the important step of washing the chicken. Mom, you better be proud. Oh, catch that. Yeah. Got it. When I told her that we're making doro, she was like, make sure you wash the chicken well. We got it. Wash that chicken. All right. We're yep. cooking up. We're ready. We're going to put some uh, butterberry. Butterberry? Put in five to seven tablespoons. There's no joke. I would say five. One. Hold on, what's my numbers? Two. two. Uh, what's two? Roulette. Roulette? What's three? Sauce. Sauce. Uh, Arat. Arat. Hummus. 
I must. All right. Let's see what happens. All right. Stir that up. Make sure it doesn't stick. So you have to be really got, careful here. I gotta stir that. So right now you just want to cook off like the powdery taste or smell. So this should probably do be at least half an hour. Half an hour. Well, we'll see. No joke. Ethiopian food. No joke. Let's go over the numbers while I'm stirring this. And. And. Ulet. Ulet. Sauce. Sauce. Arat. Arat. Amis. Amis. Sedis. Sedis. Sawat. Sabat. Cement. 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 Zetain. 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 Asa. 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 That's one through ten. Yeah. I'm gonna learn my numbers. I'm gonna go to preschool, okay? <laughs> Ethiopian preschool. Hmm. They're gonna be like, "How old are you?" I'm like, "I'm, I'm, so." Cute apron, babe. Where did you get it from? My mom gave it to me. Yeah. Yeah, my mom is an amazing chef, but uh, she's also very stylish, and so this is also a gift from her. Yeah. Yeah. Get from Hewitt? Hewitt. Alright, story time. Yeah, story time. So Dorwood has a special place in the history of our marriage. Yeah. Because when we were first when we were first starting out, when we just got married, I was just graduating college and Betty was uh, she quit her job because we were moving to Philly. Yeah. Philadelphia. From Boston, yeah. yeah. And uh, when we first started out we didn't have much money, but Betty's mom thought in advance. She yeah. didn't know the details. Without even but. Without us asking, yeah. gave us like I don't know how much. She gave us like, where's the? Um, oh, I'll have to show you. Like it was like I would say like almost like a couple of gallons. Yeah. Of Dorawat. Dorawat. So we just had that in the freezer, and basically until like I started getting my first paychecks when I started working, um, we just basically ate Dorawat every night. Every single night. And it was like right when we moved into our first apartment, and we didn't have any furniture yet, so just the yoga mat. We just had like some of the gifts we got for our, our um, for a wedding, so we would basically make Dora what heat it up, and then go sit in on our our steps, like our living rooms. We had steps; to, we had two floors, mm -hmm. so we go sit on the steps and just eat Dora what. That was our dinner uh, routine. It was delicious. Even though we ate it every single day, I thought you'd get tired of it. Me too, but no, it was like I feel like as I ate, I like grew to like it more and more. I was like. <laughs> Can't wait to have the door wet tonight. Yeah. <laughs> What's for dinner, babe? Uh, Heat up that door wet. And go, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. When we first started Best. out, door wet was all we had, thanks to Heat Wet. Yeah. Hey, babe, you should probably uh, boil some water for later. Boil some I've water? Put some, I've already put some water in there. All right, we've got some water. I'm gonna boil it. All right, so right now we're gonna put in some Kurarima. Um, ginger, garlic. So that's a teaspoon. Yes. All right, this one. All right, garlic. Garlic, garlic paste and ginger mixed together. So that's about a tablespoon each. So we got kabe. Oh, big chunks melting. Oh. All right. Mix it? Yes. Mix it. Uh, pour some water. We call this kulit. It's a mixture of barbare, shunkurt, and other stuff we put in it. Alright, show me how to do this chicken thing. So, I was already messing it up. Like this. Ugh. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, you put some big scores in it. Yeah. Alright, add the chicken. One thigh. So look, now it's officially door wet. It's two. Before that, it was just what? But now, got Doro in it. Looks pretty. It does look pretty. Look at that deep red. How do you say red? Kai. Kai. Kaiya. Kaiya. Mm -hmm. Kaiya. Say it again. Kaiya. <laughs> you say it so dramatically. But... All right, so it's a dramatic red. <laughs> I think this is a really good consistency. Um, so we can cover it and we want to let it cook, stirring once in a while for, let's try for 45 minutes and, and see what happens. All right, so we're going to cover it. What should I, there we go. 
You got the chicken in. That's a big step. All the hard stuff is done, babe. Wow. Really, yeah, actually, that's true. Yay, celebration! I can't believe it. We made it to this part. I have a whole new respect for Ethiopian women and all the Ethiopian chefs and cooks out there that make Dora wet on the regular because Ethiopian food, no joke. <laughs> All right, so while the Dora Wits is finishing up, we're going to boil some uh, eggs. Yep. <laughs> Bug. All right, so now it's been cooking for a good like 50 minutes, 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add um, a couple things for flavor and for taste. So we're gonna add some ginger and garlic paste. And then some salt. Mm -hmm. You wanna use your hands? Okay, we're just going with it. <laughs> okay, give it a little stir. Look at that great color. Mm -hmm. And then some kebe. Smells good, look at that. The chicken wing right there. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. All right, about an hour has passed and we've checked the chicken and it looks cooked. Yep, I think we're done. We finished. Yep, I'm excited to try it. Yep. All right, so we're getting ready to taste. Um, so typically, if you're feeding lots of people, we made, we made a lot of dodo wood, and we're not gonna obviously eat it all. <laughs> a lot of it is gonna be frozen. So because we're gonna freeze it, we're not putting in hard boiled eggs, which is what typically you would put in dodo wood after you're done. Uh, but since, yeah, we don't want to contaminate whatever, we wanna freeze it. So we're gonna do things differently. All right, Tyler, you are gonna put, uh, you're gonna score the eggs. So you're gonna take this, put one, two, three. So this allows maybe some of the sauce to go in. Mm, it's like how we did the chicken. Oh yeah, how we did the chicken. So, one, two, three. Yes, put that right there. So now we're going to Get some of the dough wet. Alright, let's. You're eating that big boy? Who? Oops. Lost our eggs. So I'm gonna pour it over. Pour it over the eggs? Yeah. Guys, it smells delicious. Alright, I think that's good enough. There we go. Alright, I think we're finally set up and ready for official taste test. Hold on, I should be giving you Gorsha. Come on, let me just give you a little. All right, ready? So what's your thoughts? It tastes delicious. Yeah. Good job, babe. Thanks, babe. Let's try the meat. Yeah. Oh, the meat got a little tougher. Oh. I, I, oh, no, no, it's really good right here. Oh, look at that chicken right there. It looks so good. Yeah. So this is how you eat the. Mmm. Mmm. There's mm. so much flavor. Holy crap. <laughs> he what? You better watch out. I'm coming for you. <laughs> wow. I think this is the best thing I've made so far. Really? Yeah. Like. I'm biased. I love dips a lot. I know, but the, this tastes so good. <laughs> so, guys, this is our Dodo Wet trial and yep. I think for our first we did well yes I think we did really well I don't know when the next time we'll make this because it takes oh my gosh it took us okay how many total hours in like six hours six hours so to all this those, is why I don't to make all those it. Ethiopian mothers out there to he what to all the Ethiopian cooks whoever has made Dora what before hats, hats off. off to you you guys are the real heroes out there yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give us a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Yeah. And keep on giving us recommendations down in the below. We love you guys so much. Have a good day. See ya. See ya.